The San Joaquin kit fox, also known as the Vulpes macrotus mutica, is the smallest fox in North America. It has a body that is about 20 inches long and weighs a little over 4 pounds. These foxes have long legs and large ears. Their coats range from tan to buffy gray in the summer and change to silvery gray in the winter. They are the size of a house cat with a long bushy tail and furry toes. They primarily eat rodents and other small animals like hares, mice, kangaroo rats, squirrels, birds, and lizards. They are usually nocturnal, but appear during the day in the late spring and early summer seasons. In the 1930s, the kit foxes were a thriving species. In 1967, the federal government listed them as an endangered species. Four years later, California listed them as threatened. There are currently fewer than 7,000 kit foxes. They live in underground dens in grassland and San Joaquin scrub. They live on the west side of the San Joaquin Valley. The biome that they inhabit is the grassland. The grassland features hot, dry summers and enjoys cool, rainy winters characterized by dense fog. Today, they often resort to living in and near agricultural and urban areas. They live in California counties, including Alameda, Fresno, Los Angeles, Sacramento, San Joaquin, Santa Barbara, and Santa Cruz. The minimum breeding age for kit foxes is one year. The pups are born in February or March, and after four to five months, will start to forage by themselves and seek mates in vacant home ranges. Kit foxes can live for up to seven years in the wild. San Joaquin kit foxes are described as an umbrella species. Their old dens are taken over by other foxes and animals because they move from den to den in search of a mate and food. As scavengers, they play a major role in biodegradation as well. Kit foxes are subjected to multiple threats. One of these threats is the loss of habitat to farming and development. People began converting grasslands to farms and cities. By 1979, only about 6.7% of the San Joaquin Valley's original wildlands south of Stanislaus County remained untilled and undeveloped. Another threat is predation and competition from larger species such as the red fox. Other predators include coyotes, domestic dogs, bobcats, and large raptors. San Joaquin kit foxes are hunters of insects, rodents, and rabbits, but will take advantage of whatever is available, including garbage and pet food. When they have easy access to these items, their natural behavior changes. They begin to lose their fear of people and urban areas, which exposes them to other dangers, from sports nets, poisons such as pesticides and rodenticides, and vehicles. The conservation of the kit fox will provide an umbrella of protection for many other species in these areas. The kit fox is broadly distributed, so some of the areas that are conserved for the kit fox will in turn be conserved for other endangered species as well. One of the conservation efforts is the habitat acquisition by agencies like California Energy Commission, the Bureau of Reclamation, and the Nature Conservancy. A multi-agency acquisition secured 60,000 acres of land in Merced, Stanislaus, and eastern Santa Clara counties. EG&G Energy Measurements has conducted research for over 15 years on the ecology of the kit fox population in Kern County. They have evaluated habitat enhancement, kit fox relocation, supplemental feeding, and coyote control to enhance recovery. The kit fox has been listed as endangered for over 30 years. However, the status throughout much of its current range is not really known. Much of its historical range in the San Joaquin Valley is under private ownership. Despite this, recovery actions for the San Joaquin kit fox are of high importance. As they are an umbrella species, the recovery of the kit fox will affect the recovery of many other endangered animals in the San Joaquin Valley area as well. Two major recovery actions that should take place are habitat protection and population interchange and population ecology and management. Some examples of habitat protection and population interchange actions are the protection of natural lands and expanding and connecting existing refuges and reserves. Some examples of population ecology and management actions are determining current geographic distribution and population status and determining the effects of certain control programs that have already been put into place. The recovery of the San Joaquin kit fox is not only important because they are cute and the smallest fox in North America. These small foxes are important because their recovery will result in the recovery of many other animals in their area. Every fox is important, even the tiny ones.